Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Schick, and welcome to another ultrasound of the week. This week, we had a patient that presented for epigastric pain, and the team did a point of care ultrasound of the right upper quadrant. And as they were fanning through the liver, this is what they saw. There's a little bit of heart in our view, but most of this image is the liver. And there's a bunch of anechoic circular structures within the liver. They appear to be cysts within the liver because they're anechoic. I don't see many echoes within them. I don't see septations or any complexity. Um, there are some irregular borders to them, and as we move to the right lobe of the liver, we see that there's a rather large conglomeration of cysts there. Now, if you've done enough point of care ultrasounds of the right upper quadrant and you fan through the liver, you would have seen a simple cyst by now. And that's our real question, is, is what you're seeing in the liver is that a simple cyst or is that something else? Now things to remember about simple hepatic cysts are that about 5% of the population will have them. Usually less than 10% will ever complain about them, so they're usually incidental findings. The etiology is often unknown. They are usually solitary, but there could be multiple. And on ultrasound, you'll find that they're round. They always have very thin walls. They are well marginated, meaning that they're usually well circumscribed. They're not blurry bordered or blurry walled, which is usually a sign of abscess. Um, there's often not septations, but they can have a couple septations, especially as these cysts get larger. And there could be a small amount of debris within these simple cysts, but there's often not. And there should be no vascularity within the cyst. If it's not a simple cyst, all the other etiologies are bad. It can be an abscess, polycystic liver disease, a large complex cyst, which could represent a mass. You could have multiple masses within, within the liver with central necrosis looking like cysts. And you could have infectious etiologies that are not bacterial, like hydatid cysts from Econococcus. So I hope this helps you know what to do when you see a patient with liver cysts. If it looks like a very simple cyst and you scan it in two planes, you think that's what it is, and there's no other sort of signs and symptoms that are concerning for masses or infection, etc., then this patient can be made aware of what you found and then have them follow up with their primary physician, perhaps get a repeat ultrasound to make sure nothing's changing or that they're not have more cystic structures in their liver. Everyone else is gonna need further imaging, further diagnostics, and depending on the clinical scenario that may mean now or that may mean as an outpatient. This patient on the ultrasound of the week had multiple cysts within the liver, needed further workup for this epigastric pain and got a CT scan which showed a large mass at the antrum of the stomach that had both cystic and solid components. And those cysts that we saw in the liver were actually metastatic lesions with central necrosis.